Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I just pulled up at a Lowe's. I'm going to do another big box shopping video. It is actually monsooning right now. I've been in my car for 20 minutes and I'm really scared to go out. It's lightning really bad. I don't know why today decided to rain. We haven't had any rain in a week. It's been raining so much here. And of course the day that I film, it decides to rain. <laughs> do you hear that thunder? so loud. I'm in a shopping center with a Lowe's and a Home Depot right next to each other so I think it will be good if I stop in both of those locations. I've filmed in both of these before but I think it's been a while since I've checked both of these out. I'm excited to see if there's anything good. I told myself that I'm on a ban. I'm not buying any more plants right now because I bought three Marantas at Lowe's last time I filmed and then on the way home I stopped at an Ace Hardware and I bought another Maranta. So unless there's some like crazy plant that I just have to have or something rare then I'm not gonna buy anything. I'm setting the bar high before I even go in there. <laughs> but if you're new to my channel welcome my name's Melissa and I'm really happy you're here. I'm going to try and find a spot a little bit closer and make my way into the store so let's see what kind of plants they have. I just came inside so I'm gonna take a look around and see what here. They have a bunch of these Raven's Easy's. I love this bright green color when the stalks come out brand new. That green is just so pretty. Looks like they have some Philodendron Birkins and they have some Baltic Blues as well. There's some here and then there's a couple more right here. I love those split leaves. It's a little bit dark in here so hopefully my camera doesn't get too shaky with the footage. They have some more of these beautiful arrangements. That's the Maranta Lemon Lime in there. I think these were like 20 something last time. I'm not sure if that's labeled with the price. These Birkins in the, and this pot's only $15. So that's not a bad deal. And I think the, yeah, the Raven's Easy's are $19.98. They have a bunch of these Alocasias. I bought one of these Oh, I don't know, maybe a couple months ago when I first moved here. I think they're a California alocasia. I have mine outside. But these big baskets are only $19.98, so that's a good deal for one of those alocasias. I love these leaves. Here's a philodendron. I think this is a hope maybe that's now classified as something else. It's $24.98 for this one. And on this side, we have some global green pothos. And we have some, look at that beautiful Calathea. Look how pretty that is. I love the leaves on this one. We have some of these ripple peperomias. I love that dark color too. These ones are $19.98. This is a Dracaena. Some more Baltic blue. There's an end cap here. It looks like there's some small plants and some little plants here. Up top it looks like they just have some ferns. Here's some rabbit foot ferns with the creepy spider legs. These are $5, $4.98. Here is a purple waffle plant for $6.98. We have some Diffenbachia and some bird's nest ferns here. On this shelf they have some Dracaenas and a golden pothos. And these guys are $10.98, it looks like, for the Dracaenas. And then the Golden Pothos is $12.98. They have lots of these beautiful Maria Syngoniums. $6.98 for that one as well. I'm going to have to get this. I told myself I wasn't going to buy anything either. How much is this Calathea? $22.98, but look at that color. They have two of them here, so I think I'm gonna add one to my cart. And these little baby ficus triangularis here, they're $14. These things are known to drop all their leaves, especially when they get stressed. They had some big ones not too long ago for 40, so if you wanna try a small one, that's not, that's not too bad, $14. There's some cute bromeliads. Look how cute that flower is. Um, $11 for that one. Here is a rubber tree that is 
Look at this cute log. That's interesting. Some bromelias. It's actually really pretty. Look how cute that is. It's like a decor piece. $25. Some of these orchids are really pretty. Look at that orchid. It's beautiful. It has a, what is that? I forget what that plant is. $28 though for that. And then there's some other arrangements. That yellow one is very pretty. There's some little succulents in here. Not too many, they're like eight and nine dollars and some of these are six dollars. They kind of look a little bit sad. Up top in the hanging baskets, we have some Petonia. This one is very thirsty, you see how droopy it is? It just needs some water and then it will perk right back up. And then here's one right next to it that is, isn't thirsty, you see how nice and upright it is so these are twenty dollars this one's actually oh this one's marked down it's probably because it looks sad it just needs some water look at this beautiful pink one that's pretty it is $14.98 this section here it looks like we have some smaller plants we have some more of these rabbit foot fern and we have some crotons some of this little pink photonia Some golden pothos in there. There's the begonia. Down here we have some dracaena, that color, that I love that neon color. Here's a syngonium. I think this is a berry illusion. And that is $6.98. Here's a beautiful Rex begonia. I love that color, it's so shimmery. What else is here? Is another Syngonium. Don't really see anything new as far as the smaller plants. This end cap, I see some new stuff it looks like. Here's a beautiful Hartley Philodendron. This guy is, I think they're $26 I want to believe in this pot. It's not labeled, but I remember from last time. So beautiful. Look at this cute pot. That is so cute. $9.98 for those. We have these little air plants and these hanging glass vessels. That's really pretty. $15 for those. Oh, that is a beautiful pot. Look at that pot. It's like a fall leaf design. And that's a neon pothos in there. That is so pretty, I love that pot. It is $15.98, and then here's a brown one. That is so beautiful, that's such a pretty pot. And looks like they have a Syngonium in one as well. These are new, $12 for that kind of planter. The little um, succulent in there. That's an interesting pot. Look how big that Haworthia is. $15.98. There's some money trees. I just think these pots are really cute. I saw these last time. They're $18.98. So cute. And then down here on the bottom, we have an Alocasia poly. And it looks like we have this Audrey, I believe, this rubber tree, $25.98. And there's a little ponytail palm right there. And some Aglionemas in this wick system for $14.98. The plants hanging up look kind of sad. A lot of Petonias want some water. Here is a clearance section, it looks like. Some orchids, succulents. There's some watermelon peps that are on clearance. Here's a staghorn fern that I missed. I didn't see this earlier. It's in one of these hanging baskets and it has one of these, you can see it has those fronds. That's 
a nice little staghorn fern. I don't really see a price on it. Oh, it's $22.98. So they have a hanging basket with a staghorn fern. This end cab, it looks like they have a bunch of orchids and some bromeliads. Different prices depending on the pot size. But those orchids are beautiful. I'm gonna go outside here and see if they have anything. These Fetonia baskets are $19.98. They have this teardrop peperomia, I believe, for $19.98. Then they have some golden pothos hanging as well. Those are $15.98. There is a couple lipstick plants hanging as well. I think those are $14.98. Look at all these beautiful Tradescantia, the purple heart. They're so beautiful, $15.98. I think that's a good price for the size that you get. There's so many of them too. The leaves are so pretty. If I was not bad at keeping them alive, I would get one, but they do well outside, but as soon as I bring them in, they just get overwatered in my care, but they're beautiful plants. Oh, look at this section at checkout. This is really cute. They have some Scandapsis argirius there. There's a Calathea. There's another Staghorn Fern I see, some Golden Pothos. There's some Neon Pothos. Those are cute. How much are these Scandapsis baskets? $14 for one of these. It's not too bad. There's some more of those orchid baskets on the bottom. And in the hanging baskets, there's some Syngonium. There's a Maria there, and that's probably a berry illusion. They're $14.98 for those. Okay, I just pulled up at Home Depot. We finished up in Lowe's. I'm gonna do a haul at the end because I may have got something. So I don't plan on buying anything, maybe, else. This is going all wrong. This is not how I planned the day to go. I was just supposed to go in there and look and now I'm buying plants. <laughs> but it seems to have stopped raining for the meantime. I can still hear it thundering. So I'm gonna pop in here real quick and see if there's anything in this Home Depot. It's a pretty decent sized Home Depot. And I feel like they usually have a good selection in here. So at least the Costa Farms. I feel like there's a lot of Costa Farm trending tropicals in this location. So let's head on in. Ooh, I just came inside and look at these cute little succulents and cacti. Look at how cute they are. How much are these guys? They're $10. There's so many of them. Oh, they have these succulent planters too. This is a, like a heavy ceramic. $25, you get a few different types of succulents in there. It's a nice heavy ceramic. Lots of those succulents. There's some other planters over here. How much are these ones? $20 for these. Not too bad. These smaller ones are $16.98. Yeah, those are kind of cute if you are looking for more succulents. Wow, it is really dark in here. I can hear it stormy again. Hopefully my, oh no, oh no, no, no. No! Why is there more Marantas? I cannot save them all. Oh my goodness, look at all the Marantas, you guys. I don't know if the camera is even picking up the Marantas. Oh, $20. I can't save anymore, but I totally would. Yeah, so they have these Crimson Princess baskets. They are $20, so that's a good find. It is so dark in here. They have several, several of these. We have some white butterfly syngoniums, some photonia, and then we have some phyllo brazils here. They are 
It's a nice little pot. I love philodendron Brazil. All right, you guys, it is a little dark in here with the weather, so I'm gonna do my best to go around and show you guys some plants without it being like super dark. My camera is being a little weird just with the lighting. We have this beautiful Diffenbachia. It's a Maculata for $25. And here comes the weather again. <laughs> but I just love the color on this plant. It is so beautiful. And this big, beautiful hanging basket, Neon Pothos, for only $20. And it's so full. I feel like that's a really good deal. They have some Squammy Ferrums still here. There's like three of them. They are $49.98, so that's not bad. The sign says the Vigoro ones are two for $24. I think that's the $14.98 ones though, so these are just $50. But still, that's a good deal for a Squammy Ferrum. I have another Neon Pothos and some more Ivy, Fetonia. These are $19.98 hanging up. Look how beautiful these are. They're $29.98. They're so cute. Over here we have a Caladium Xanthosoma, I believe. Yeah. I still want one. <laughs> we have lots of these angel wing begonias. These are Costa Farms 1998. This section here in the middle, we have all kinds of cacti, succulents. We'll have to look through and see if there's anything good. There's an end cap here. It has these beautiful, I think these are a what kind of begonia is this? I think it's that tiger begonia or something. It's $5, but look how beautiful it is. I just love like a neon pop. I kind of want to get one of these just because I love the color. Various golden pothos, some more um, white butterfly syngonium. Look at this huge heart leaf. Look how big those leaves are, holy. I want to get this just for these big leaves. Is this a heart leaf phyllo or a Brazil? Because it has a Brazil there and then maybe some reverted strands. Look at how big this thing is. These leaves, they're like bigger than my palm. That's impressive. I thought that was propagated from just like a big plant. It says in Brazil, but it's clearly reverted. And you can see the new growth, how tiny it is. So even if you got this staked up on a pole, it would still be a while before it got mature leaves. But those leaves are beautiful. All kinds of cactus here, succulents, $5, $4, $6. I guess it just really depends on what you're looking for. All this stuff is so wet too. There's some burrow's tail for $12. There's a little um, bunny ear cactus. Here's some succulent arrangements. All kinds of stuff. I think those are $30. This section just loads and loads of succulents. This Home Depot has so many succulents. A lot of cactus. Look at that blue one. That is beautiful. If I can find one that's bigger and a blue color, I want like a bigger cactus. I just think the blue is so pretty. So these are $10. There's some jade. There's a panda plant, some more jade. Some aloe and some agave. There's some heart leaf and golden pothos hanging up top. I don't want to go all the way back because my camera's being weird because it's so dark. But all these Vigoro pots are 25 here to the right. And there's some ZZ plants, some huge burgundy rubber trees, snake plants, and then peace lily. So all kinds of big plants here. More succulents over here, just all kinds of the same ones. Some flapjacks. Yeah, just so many. I'm back over here. I really love all these Marantas and Crimson Princess. If I did, again, if I didn't have these, I would totally get one, another one. 
Oh my, my, my. I'm gonna move over here and lots of small plants that are like five, six dollars. Some syngonium, here's another begonia. Beautiful. Some Maria syngonium. Lots of dracaenas, crotons. Just all the same small plants that they carry. This section, snake plants and ZZ plants. These are $15, the Vigoro pots. They're actually on special for tall bucks. And look at this aglionema. I kind of want this just because it's cute. So I can get this for 12 bucks if I wanted it. Lots of Diffenbachia over there. This section, we have some more of this geo plant from Costa Farms. We have more of this caladium. And I am getting dripped on. <laughs> we have some begonia maculatas over here. So pretty. Lots of beautiful orchids. And then lots of little bonsai and money trees, all sorts of these guys over here. There's some ferns down here and there's one Scandapsis Moonlight and then a Calathea. I'm gonna see if there's anything new outside. It's kind of still raining a bit, so I'm just gonna peek out here. We have lots more of those Tradescantia and those huge alocasias over there. Oh my goodness. Absolutely stunning. I'm obsessed with these already. I love alocasias. These succulents. We have Monstera up top, Ficus triangularis. Those are $50. Lots of palms and snake plants. We have lots of aloe. Wow, look at this beautiful moonlight Sansevieria in this pot. It's $40. Not sure what kind of ground cover that is, but that is really beautiful. I had a Moonlight Sands and it died. I think I overwatered it, but it's a beautiful color. If that wasn't in a container that big, I would probably get another one and stick it outside. All these cute little pig planters. There's a little llama or a baby sheep or something. Look how cute these planters are. Oh my goodness. This huge golden pothos is here again. It looks like it's getting overwatered or something, or maybe like heat stress, because you can see the sunburn leaves. And then there's lots more succulent planters over here. I think that's pretty much it, you guys, as far as all the plants in here. Nothing too crazy new, except for, you know, these baskets here. Again, if, if I didn't have all these already, I would have gotten some. Now it's a little bit brighter in here. You can see them a little bit more. I just think they're so beautiful. Okay, you guys, I'm back in my car. It is starting to get very muggy now that the rain has passed and it's starting to get warm again. But I was good in there. I was good in the Home Depot. I really wanted those Mariantas, but no, can't do it. And I didn't want to buy anything else. I just told myself no, because I rescued a Calathea at Lowe's. I couldn't pass this one up because look how beautiful it is, you guys. Look at that. I cannot think of the name of this one off the top of my head. Maybe it's the rose. No, it's not the rose. I can't remember. I'm going to have to like do a Google image search so I can find out which one that is. But it's so beautiful and the leaves and everything. And there is new growth in there. I did a slight look over for pest and the leaves are very dirty. I don't see any obvious spider mites that I could tell, but it doesn't mean that it doesn't have any. So I need to probably repot this thing and check, check for a root plug, honestly. I'm gonna do a video on my process of what I do when I pick out a plant and what I do once I get a plant from the big box store. I think that would be helpful for you guys. I'm going to do that with this plant. I will film a separate video on what I'm going to do, but it's going to have to wait until after the weekend because we are going out of town. So I will film that early next week. I'll probably just give it a little water and just let it sit in a separate area of my home. So that way, in case there's any pest, it can just, you know, be in its own little space. That way I can still give it some light and it won't 
like infect my other plants, so to speak. So it is very beautiful. So I paid, how much did I pay for it? $22.98. It was more than I wanted to spend. It's because of the pot, but it's okay. I really wanted it and it's beautiful. So I just had to get it. So that was it for the shopping video. I hope you guys liked it. Sorry if the footage in the last location here was a little dark. It's just this weather didn't really want to hold up for filming. It was so dark inside. So I'll take a look at the footage. Hopefully it's not too bad for you. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this shop with me and I'm really excited to go and film another one now. I want to check out the other side of town again and see what's new. So maybe I'll go there next week and see. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you all later.